Spirit heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. That should be found in Proverbs 17:22. Also, I guess that is if you are a Christian. And uh, there are many, many other scriptures, I believe, in whatever your religion you believe with that talks about the concept of joy and happiness. So um, there is a difference between happiness and joy. Happiness is largely dependent on the external things that happen to you. It's materialistic in nature. Most of the time it has to do with either you get a raise, a promotion, you're getting married, you're in a new relationship you've got admission into the school of your dreams you've got the house of your dreams you've got the car of your dreams you got healed or just some external things basically that happens you had a baby you just got pregnant something exciting just happens and you are happy and it is actually fleeting lasting happiness that is joy now joy has nothing to do with the external circumstances of your life joy has to do largely with contentment with the internal just that general feeling of well-being that it has to do with is dependent on others your relationship with others like i don't mean like relationship but your your disposition towards others that goodwill that's emanating from your heart that place of that feeling of you know joy i it has nothing to do with the external circumstances of your life whether you're happy or not married or not single or not have a baby or not have a job or not uh you are the boss or not your business successful or not your sales it's not erratic i think that wraps up what i'm trying to say joy is not erratic it's a, a feeling of well-being it's steady joy is stability so today i am going to share with you five ways you can get joy and improve or improve your joy or maintain your joy in the midst of crisis and whether we like it or not we are in the midst of crisis is not the usual crisis but it is a crisis because when everything is in lockdown trust me it is a crisis but we can be joyful we can be happy we do not have to be gloomy in the midst of it and then when we are joyful we feel we're emotionally okay and we are ready and well equipped equipped <laughs> we are well equipped to fight whatever it is that we need to fight to survive and to live and we will survive and we will be fine but we must be in the right frame of mind so today i am going to share with you about five ways you can maintain your joy in the midst of crisis hello my beautiful people welcome to jerica's infusion where i infuse food and talk and today i have already told you what we will be talking Talking about so if you're new to this channel I would like you to please consider subscribing and being a part of this wonderful family we are a sweet family I tell you and you won't regret it so keep watching to the end as I share with you this fantastic tips Number one way to maintain your joy or to get joy is get information. Yes, <laughs> get informed. Knowledge is power. Information is power. Yes, we have a crisis upon our hands. We have something that is ravaging lives and is very highly contagious. Do not just sit back at home or bury your head in the sand as I'm seeing a lot of people doing, especially those in the rural areas. In fact, I heard some people ignorantly say that this thing has to do only with rich people, that is a rich man's sickness. Yes, people in the market, some people actually believe that, but this is not the time to bury your head in the sand. Get all the information you need to get about this thing that is happening. Go for knowledge. Find out, okay, how does this thing happen? What exactly is this thing? Where did it come from? How does it work? How does it get transmitted? What can I do to protect myself? Get all the information you need to get because information is power. So do not bury your head in the sand and wish that it will all go away. 
come face to face with the reality. This is our current reality. So come face to face with this reality and get all the information that you need to get. And number two, acknowledge what you feel about the situation, the circumstances. Are you feeling scared? Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling panicky? Are you panicking? Are you upset with the government? Are you upset with the way the, the way the thing is coming from? Acknowledge your feelings. Feel your feelings. Do not try to deny it and bury it because I said be joyful. <laughs> no. Acknowledge what you are feeling. Sometimes I won't lie to you. I feel sometimes I just feel this overwhelming fear about the future. Sometimes I just feel sadness. Sometimes I feel hope. Sometimes I feel despair. And then it just has been a whole, you know, um, a whole dance of feelings, a whole romance of feelings that come and go. And, you know, it has just been there. It has been crazy. But above all, the fact that I have learned to... Find, I know how to tackle, to find my joy in, 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 in well-being. Okay, what am I saying? The fact that I have an anchor. I know where I find my joy. I know the source of my joy. And I am able to keep sane and still maintain joy and happiness. There's a lot of laughter in my house. There's a lot of happiness in spite of everything. And if you watch my video on my panic buying it was an enjoyable experience i know it's crazy but the going out to buy we made it fun with my husband so there's a lot of joy we still crack jokes and everything it's not gloomy in my household because we made up our mind that no matter what we will be happy we will be joyful in the midst of this as we take precautions to protect ourselves so acknowledge what you are feeling and work on that feeling how do you work now i've gotten to the point i wanted to tell you how do you work on your feeling how do you um work on you know on that that, that negative feeling how do you conquer that fear how do you overcome despair how do you overcome the sadness and the panic you are feeling. That takes me to point number three. After acknowledging your fear, be thankful, be grateful. I don't know who you are. Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim, a Buddhist, whatever religion it is that you practice? This principle works for everybody. Practice the principle of thanksgiving. So what do I want you to do? Because we are here to get practical solutions. Get a notebook or a writing pad or something and write down all the good things that has been going on in your life. Write down the journey so far. Even if there's nothing good that has been going on in your life, the fact that you are alive to witness this event is a good thing. A lot of people have died already. The fact that you are strong and you are healthy, the fact that you're just afraid of getting sick because of something that is something to be grateful to god for and then the fact that you have family you have loved ones you have a job you have friends you have a community even if you just have one person that calls you to check on you that is something to be grateful for the fact that you have food to eat a place to lay your head i know some of you are saying you do not understand the circumstances that we are going through. Yes, I might not understand, but please try and stay positive. There is something in that circumstances to be grateful with. Because if you look at all the negatives, if you keep looking at the negatives, it will keep building up fear in you. And I, I think that when we act in fear, when we're doing things out of fear, we end up making things worst and you know the the outcome is inevitable anyway whatever the outcome will be for our life so when instead of living that moment and you know living moment by moment in despair in sadness and fear life can be enjoyable life can be fun no matter the external circumstances that we are going through so let's learn to be grateful call people check on people and tell them you know, tell them, have you remembered anybody that has done good to you? This is an opportunity to 
call up and say thank you so much you were helpful here thank you so much you came for my child's birthday thank you so much for showing up let's use this opportunity to check up on people that have done us good whether it's our cleaner thank you for cleaning the house i love the way you clean the house and then whether it's our security man thank you for keeping watch over us there are security men that betray their bosses so that you have a security man that is keeping watch over your house and he has not done any damage to you or connived with robbers to come and rob you it's something to be grateful for thank and appreciate your workers thank your husband thank your wife thank your children for being the best children <laughs> even if they are being naughty at least they love you and they are trying their best to please you thank your spouse thank your parents and i mean just be full radiate thanksgiving by the time you start giving thanks you will find that every negative feeling starts flying away and it starts disappearing and then that gloom is taking over you and you find that you are feeling hopeful and you are joyful you're in a place of contentment where you have hope that no matter what happens you're going to be just fine you're going to be all right <laughs> so that's beautiful get information number four practice active loving actively love yourself actively love people and how do you practice active loving you practice active love by protecting yourself and protecting your loved ones if you love me you will protect me yes if you actively love me you'll protect me and how do you protect me by protecting yourself so in this season protecting yourself means you take the necessary measures to make sure that i am protected no matter what happens you don't expose yourself because you know that if you expose yourself and you are in danger of contracting this thing that you if you come to me i am in danger of contracting it so you do the needful yes it helps maintain the joy knowing that i am trying to protect you you're trying to protect me and and so and vice versa so i know some people are like la 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 i have faith yes i have my old um, cleaner as i told you when she came to the house she said that uh, god will protect us i was like wash your hands no god will protect us <laughs> that is silly faith i'm sorry i'm not being insulted but that is silly faith faith and wisdom goes hand in hand so do the needful if you love me you will protect me and you will protect me by protecting yourself and I will do the same so practice active loving and you will feel safer that way so the okay um, I don't want to forget anything and then number the second way you practice active loving is by checking up on people like you know there are people who have contracted this thing there are people who have not people are staying home call people use this as an opportunity to reconnect send text messages there's somebody you've not talked spoken to in one year old friendships rekindle it send emails send text messages let people know that you care and you'll be happier because you are giving to people when you give you get back so much more you get back joy and so much more blessings and these blessings are not just blessings of money or anything it's the reward is amazing check up on people because you're less busy now so check up on people find out how you're doing i'm just checking up on you practice active loving the number three way you practice active loving is by sharing please there are people who are going through difficult times at this point they are afraid in fact my sister the camp was closed down because of the situation and she told me some core members are actually practically stranded they've not been paid that allowance the government hasn't paid them don't forget the, the camp was supposed to be three weeks and the plan was the camp will feed them the camp always feeds it has been like that for so many years but there has been a shift and some people have been looking forward to this 33,000 naira and that bicycle allowance and the camp feeding them their plan was at the end of the month maybe their parents don't even have the money to send some don't even have parents 
So don't forget that. It, and that is just one set of people. So to get transport to go back, she told me there was a girl who was stranded. Even to get back to Bauchi from Ibadan is a problem. So there are people, please find out, there are people who, as we're panic buying, some actually don't even have the money to panic buy. So you want to maintain your joy, you get joy by giving. Please share. I am actively looking for ways that I could reach one or two people. It could be just a little here, but just when you do that, you are happier. You have enough. Please share with others. Don't take that for granted, no matter how little. Even if it's to give that your security man food, he used to buy food. Perhaps the person selling food doesn't come around again. When you prepare food for your family, package their own in a small plastic container, wrap it up, put your hand gloves and drop it for them and they will appreciate it. This food is so crucial. When you feed a man, you gladden the man's heart. You don't give to people that can't really do anything for you and you will maintain your joy that way. It's so, so crucial. It's so important. And number five way of maintaining your joy is conduct due process. And what is due process? Wash your hands, observe social distancing, observe the protect yourself, eat well, exercise, pray, read good books, read your Bible, read your Quran, stay informed about the trend, but don't obsess about it. Stay informed, but don't obsess. Don't be following every news story. Some binge watch on YouTube. You're following on CNN. You're feeding your mind with fear. The mind doesn't work that way. You have to feed your mind with the positive. Feed your mind with God's word. Feed your mind with books, with things that tell you there is hope. So it's so crucial. Listen to good music, music that will edify you so don't spend your time watching all the negatives spend your time feeding your mind and spirit we've lost the art of reading this is an opportunity to dust up a book and read you enjoy reading novels read your novels enjoy it but stay um stay informed about what is happening just take the information that you need to know and then observe due process because you can't be feeding yourself with all the negatives and expect to be joyful or maintain your joy it doesn't work that way so i hope with these five tips i have given you you will learn to be joyful and you will come to a place of wellness and well-being as we observe this lockdown we don't know what it's whether it's going to get better or worse at the moment but we hope for the best but we to the needful. I love you guys and I want you guys to all come out of the stronger and better and safe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.